We have gone through all 58 pages of this criminal information, and as you just heard, Russo is charged with 21 criminal counts, including bribery, obstruction of justice, and tax evasion. And according to federal prosecutors, Russo accepted cash, home improvements, and travel to Las Vegas in return for steering county contracts, jobs, pay raises, and property tax breaks. Federal agents have spent the last two years poring over documents taken from the auditor's office. They found that a private company doing business in this Russo satellite office had been awarded $21 million to perform commercial audits in exchange for bribes and kickbacks. Federal prosecutors say a Russo top aide, Sandy Klimkowski, was the middleman for more than $1.3 million generated in bribes for Russo. And prosecutors say employees also paid to play for Frank Russo. Prosecutors say former county worker Dennis Dooley gave Russo $10,000 in exchange for a job in the auditor's office. And prosecutors say businessman Ferris Kleem gave Russo an envelope stuffed with cash, $6,000, and an airline ticket to Las Vegas, all in exchange for his business deals. In one recorded conversation, J. Kevin Kelly, a former county employee who has already pled guilty to bribery charges, tells a top county official, Frank ain't going to pass up Vegas, especially with Ferris going to be there. And in another conversation, Russo is heard referencing the trip with Kleem. He's going to have whores, and he's got a tiki hut by the pool. He's got everything. Kleem has already pled guilty to his role in the bribery scheme. Well, leading up to today, five other former employees in the auditor's office have pled guilty to bribery charges and have been cooperating with the FBI. Some of those employees, according to prosecutors, gave Russo cash and gifts in return for their jobs. Now, it's believed that Russo will plead guilty to the charges, but, uh, and it's expected that he's going to spend a long, long time in prison. But given that Frank Russo was already 60 years old, that could keep him behind bars for the rest of his life. At six o'clock, I'll be back with much more on this developing story. And of course, the question everybody's asking now is what about Jimmy DeMora? Jimmy DeMora, no word from him today. Still, he has, he has not officially been named in any of these criminal informations or indictments, but of course, he has come forward and said he's a target of the investigation. All right, Ron, thank you.